forgive me, but... There's nothing to forgive. I, I lied, Murph. I lied to you. There's no way to help us. But Bunny, all this, all these people in the equation. Did my father know? To not go. No. No. You can't leave. You. No. Okay, 2019. Let's do 2019. I'm going to show you a couple ones that are not in the, the Jewish Virtual Library or Wikipedia. And these are for uh, January 2019. So the first one is. January 8th, 2019. Uh, Iron Dome intercepts rocket. IAF retaliates against Hamas military training camp. According to Israeli Defense Forces in the South, Air Force fighter jets and helicopters attacked several terror targets Who, at Hamas what training camp in the that? northern Gaza Nothing. Strip overnight following a rocket fired from Gaza into Israel. Why are the rockets going up and then exploding into the air? There's swooping up, exploding, unprompted explosions. The Iron Dome missile defense system above Ashkelon intercepted the rocket a little after 3 a.m. on Monday to the sound of red alert sirens. No injuries were reported, though, but regardless, the IDF holds Hamas responsible for any incursion of Israeli sovereignty. So, the, so Israel retaliated, blew up a bunch of stuff for that, for a bunch of missiles swooping up and exploding in the air, and they didn't even have any explosions. It was just fireworks. This latest attack comes less than a day after a drone-shaped device and a large bunch of balloons carrying explosives Drone-shaped device. It was a drone-shaped device and a bunch of balloons. Landed in the carrot field. Landed in a carrot field. So, a drone-shaped device. They didn't say it was a drone. They said it was a drone-shaped device and a bunch of balloons. Landed in a carrot field. And therefore, we need to retaliate and blow up a bunch of Hamas leaders because of this. In southern Israel on Sunday morning. When police bomb sappers examined the drone lookalike, which bore the name of Gaza's Engineering College on the side, it had the name of Gaza's Engineering College on the side. Why would they do that? <clears throat> this makes no tactical sense for Hamas to do that, unless this is a false flag, okay? Very clearly a false flag to me. It exploded. Thankfully, however, police reported no in Wait, well, they had a bomb bomb robot to pick it up and they said it exploded right examined the drone look like which bore the name of Gaza's engineering college on the side it exploded thankfully however police reported no injuries and the IDF struck two Hamas military targets in the strip in response to this attack as well but this is far from the only attack of this type hundreds if not thousands of incendiary balloons and kites have landed in Israel this whole thing looks state like they always go to the same place they're always in some like area like this and all the muslims are in one place and there's some camera there filming it all and they have a they have their kite with uh, palestine's flag on it and nearly three thousand acres this could all be a set of a movie or eight square miles of forest and agricultural land in the Gaza periphery have been burnt up since March 2018 when the so-called March of Return riots began. Millions of shekels and damages have also been reported. So return... Were they just burning tires on a fire? Like, it's like a tire fire? What's the point of that? I'm going to choke them with smoke? Turning to his previous criticisms then, former Defense Minister Abigdom Lieberman of the Israel Beitenu Party took to Twitter to blast the Netanyahu government again for having no consistent policy, no vision, and no plan to cut off Hamas's terror. Quote, there is no initiative. They barely react. End quote. Lieberman also chastised the policy of feeding Hamas with one hand and supposedly reprimanding them with the other. Feeding Hamas with one hand, reprimanding them with the other. 
feeding Hamas. They're the, they're the hand that feeds Hamas, like I said, okay? They created Hamas, they're funding Hamas. What is Hamas doing? Giving them a, a pretext for a war. Reasons that Lieberman first reportedly dropped out of the coalition in November as well, following the launching of hundreds of rockets from the Strip into Israel in just 24 hours. It was the largest Hamas missile barrage since the 2014 Gaza war. Weird. Uh, here we have a change of pace. We have an Iranian missile. Explodes over the ski resort Mount Hermon, Israel, which is in the Golan Heights, January 2019. Kickoff 2019. Iranian missile. Uh, does it fly all the way from Iran? A rocket that was d intercepted over the Golan Heights on Sunday was a surface-to-surface -surface missile deliberately fired from Syria. It was an Iranian missile shot from Syria. What's the proof that it came from Iran? That Iran shot it? I'm kind of a skeptical guy. I, you know, you keep hearing about oh, there's Iranian military in Syria. I don't think so. I don't see any evidence that uh, the Iranians are in Syria. I think that could be totally made up. I think it is made up. <clears throat> Anyways, deliberately fired from Syria at Israel, according to Hebrew media. It was apparently a highly unusual retaliatory attack in response to an airstrike earlier in the day, which was widely attributed to Israel. It was highly unusual. And it's, I'm going to show you why it's even more highly unusual than that. Check this out. Some skiers skiing down. Suddenly, they're going to watch a rocket intercept another rocket. Whoops. As luck would have it, the uh, explosion happened off camera. You didn't actually see the, the interception, did you? Watch again. Uh, see, it's off camera right when the interception happens, when the explosion happens. Oh, shucks. We, we missed another interception. And then it comes back right after. And you can see that the quote-unquote missiles, I'm using hand gesture quotation marks right now, okay? Unfortunately, you can't see my hands, but just know that I'm using hand gesture quotation marks. The, after the quote-unquote interception, uh, you can see the missile streaks keep going. Why? Because I don't think these are missiles. I think these are just airplanes. They just recorded some airplanes and added an explosion. Oh, you're still going. Both of them are still going. Because those were airplanes. Listen again. Watch again. January 20th. Watch this. And there's gonna you have a second second uh, video. You still see an explosion cloud. And then <laughs> And then they go, oh, look, see the dot. That's something. I don't know what they're pointing at. That's supposed to be the explosion. Can you connect that trail to that rocket? That's like the rocket explosion. I don't get That surely is not the rocket or the explosion of the rocket because there's no trail leading to that. Furthermore, if you go back, you don't see that dot anywhere from the actual video watch. Oh wait, is that dot? Something blinking there. Is that this? Is that the dot? Oh, I guess that's the dot. Well, what is that? Wait, is that dot even in the same place? I guess so. Why is it blinking? It's like blinking. It's too. 
stops and there's no sound. I don't quite get what I'm trying, what I'm supposed to be seeing here. Can you blame me? Dot. Brian, did you know? He told you, right? You knew. This was all a sham. This is in retaliation. This is January 21st, immediately after that ski resort footage you saw. Israel strikes Iran in Syria after Iran launches rocket at Israeli ski resort. Well, first of all, the rocket went over the ski resort. I don't know why it says at the ski resort. You saw the video. It was uh, a couple of airplanes. CBN News. Good. They're lying for the lying for Israel. Israel strikes Iran in Syria. Again, they say or it's Iran in Syria. Have we seen any proof, any evidence that Iran is in Syria? I have my doubts about that. Uh, anyways, after Iran launches rocket at Israeli ski resort. So this is this was uh, so it was a false flag attack, and then see the uh, carnage that Israel does in retaliation. The IDF said its fighter jets struck Iranian Quds forces military targets in Syria and Syrian aerial defense batteries, and released this footage of two of the strikes. This map shows Iranian and Syrian sites targeted outside of Damascus. The IDF. So the purple is. A Quds Force target, and then the red is a Syrian air defense system target. So that's Syrian, that's Iranian. We're led to believe. I don't, I don't see any evidence Iran is in Syria. I haven't seen any evidence. Nobody's proven that to me. All we get is the media says that Iran is in Syria. Even though between Syria and Iran lie U.S. military bases. How... <laughs> there are U.S. military bases in the countries between Iran and Syria. So, like, Turkey, Iraq, these countries lie between Syria and Iran, and we have U.S. bases there. So, again, not entirely sure about how Iran is sneaking into Syria past U.S. military bases. F said it had hit a munition storage site and an Iranian intelligence site and military training. Wait, how do you know that's an intelligence site? Because they put a square over a, a building that tells you it's an intelligence site. Don't believe everything you see. Don't believe everything you read. Even from these guys with their little flame, the little cabal of flame right there. In camp. The strikes came in response to an Iranian-launched rocket at the northern Golan Heights where the Mount Hermon ski resort is. Israel's Iron Dome intercepted the rocket. Now notice there, you heard, you heard the sound from the video, right? So you hear the sound of the, of the planes going by, because those are planes, but you didn't hear the, the crack of the explosion, did you, from the other video? No, no explosion sound. Hmm rocket at the northern Golan Heights where the Mount Hermon ski resort is. Curiously, no explosion here. Israel's Iron Dome intercepted the rockets and Israel closed the ski resort. Israel's foreign ministry tweeted, Iran's attempts to entrench itself in Syria and endanger Israeli lives will not be tolerated. Earlier, Syria Fake said news. Israel had carried out missile strikes, but its aerial defenses had thwarted them. Israeli I don't Prime see, Minister wait, Benjamin that supposed Netanyahu, to be a video or something? Who was missile strikes, but it's aerial defenses. I don't see any missiles here. I don't see any, this is just a video of the sky. Has thwarted them. Here? Israeli Nothing. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who was on an historic visit in the African nation of Chad, said Israel's policy remains firm. We have a set policy to harm Iranian entrenchment in Syria and to harm anyone who tries to harm us. This policy doesn't change when I'm in the country, and it also doesn't change when I'm making... What language is he speaking? Is he speaking Hebrew? If so, he's speaking a language only only the Jews 
may or may not know. Most Jews don't even know Hebrew. So I don't know what language he's speaking. Why doesn't he speak, Why doesn't he speak English? In a historic... The dude was raised in America. He was born in America. He doesn't speak English. Is he, is he speaking Sudanese? Oh, wait, no, he's in Chad, right? Is he speaking Chadese? I don't know. A visit to Chad. In response, Iran said it was ready for war that would lead to the destruction of Israel. Israel's intelligence minister said the airstrike sent a clear message to Iran. The IDF took responsibility publicly and immediately for the airstrike, signaling a shift in policy away from its usual ambiguity. That Wait. IDF took credit for the, uh, the attacks. So Israel took credit for the attacks. Change of pace from their, their normal policy is not to take credit for any bombs. Israel's intelligence minister said the airstrike sent a clear message to Iran. The IDF took responsibility publicly and immediately for the airstrike. Wait a second, and that's a shift in policy. So they don't usually immediately take responsibility for an airstrike, like all the Muslims do every time. Every time, without fail, the Muslims immediately take responsibility for every little firecracker that goes towards Israel or anywhere. Or 9 11 attacks, they immediately take responsibility. Israel does not. Why? Because they're actually following some kind of strategy because taking credit for or just saying, hey, I did it, is not a good military strategy. Hmm. Why are the why do the Muslims hop to uh, whenever it's time to take credit for a strike, even if it doesn't hit anything? But then the but then Israel does not. Hmm. Signaling a until now. A shift in policy away from its usual ambiguity. That could in usually ambiguous. Israel usually ambiguous. Muslims around Sir Israel usually not ambiguous. Indicate that Israel is ready for an escalation. In a telephone briefing, former Israeli National Security Advisor Yaakov Amidror said, Israel is ready for action. Israel was very clear about that. We are ready for escalation, for us to stop the Iranians from building the independent Iranian war machine in Syria. It's so important that we are ready. They're building, the Iranians are building an independent war machine in Syria. I'll believe that when I see it. To go to something bigger than that, if we be needed. For now, it's quiet. But it's not likely that Iran will abandon its goal of the destruction of Israel, nor will Israel let that happen. But the lie. That monstrous lie. Unforgivable. And he knew that. He was prepared to destroy his own humanity.